hello and welcome thank you for watching the black pearl channel so collective today i want to share with you a plethora of channel messages about a posse i.e a group of people that were doing heavy spell work on you these people were basically doing illusion magic to make you think that you were sick okay so spirit basically told me that for some of you this could have been a mental illness and for others of you this could have been a physical illness some of you you may resonate with both of these storylines okay remember this is a collective reading take it how it resonates i'm not a medical professional i am giving you spiritual advice so that you can make better decisions for yourself okay so collective you could have suffered from anxiety depression or it could have been any other mental illness but what spirit is saying is that this is not a lifetime sentence so as you guys know that with many mental illnesses mental illness can be caused by chemical imbalances and there can be a lot of genetic factors hereditary components but what i'm picking up is that your anxiety depression or mental illness this basically was induced by trauma and external factors so you may have been surrounded by toxic narcissistic people that were not only abusive and causing you trauma to create these imbalances these people were also doing heavy spell work on you for some of you these people were doing spell work on you for years and this spell work was basically irritating and exacerbating your problems with your mental health so i'm picking up on negative criticism gaslighting and verbal abuse spirit also told me to share a word with you guys that my pastor gave me um, and my pastor basically said to me at church one time that the devil comes to you in your thoughts and that's one of the ways that the devil attacks you is through your thoughts so you could have had like really negative thoughts negative thought patterns and negative thought forms but really, these were externally sent to you through witchcraft. So the advice from spirit is to remove any negative friends and family completely from your reality so that you can focus on healing. Okay, so if you guys have not checked out my God favor video, please go check out my God favor video. In that video, I talked about one of my gifts, which is clear audience. And I talked about basically how when you hear spirit, it's almost like an external thought. So you know that it's not your thought, but it's an external thought. So what I'm getting is that some of you guys actually are clairaudient and you don't know that. You haven't tapped into it. So you may be hearing almost like demonic thought forms, which are causing you mental illness, anxiety, and depression. And you're not realizing that those thoughts that you're hearing, those self-sabotaging thoughts, that's not you, that's the devil. And people were putting spell work on you to create these negative thought forms. Go check out that video. So when I discovered that I had a clear audience gift, right, I had to develop discernment. A lot of people have spiritual gifts. The reason why I call myself prophetic is because my gift comes from God. And it took me a long time to decide what I wanted to call myself and how I wanted to present myself to the world. But I am prophetic, meaning my gift comes from God. But you have to be very careful when you're, when you're a spiritual person because a lot of times you'll get other entities and spirits that are not necessarily of God. And if you don't have discernment, if no one ever taught you how to use your gifts, you can get confused and it can just throw you off your path. So spirit is letting me know that some of you guys need to understand that your anxiety and your depression is not a lifelong sentence. Mental illness is a real thing, but if you're surrounded by narcs and toxic people, they're going to cause you to have more trauma, to have more anxiety, more depression, and you guys need to leave these people alone because they've literally been putting spell work on you for years. I heard specifically illusion magic and oblivion magic. So these people are making you feel like you're crazy. For some of you guys, and I know a lot of y'all can testify to this, right? Leave it in the comments. When you start, when you first start developing your spiritual gifts, you feel like kind of crazy. You're like, am I crazy? Like, am I making this up? And it's so important to join a spiritual community so that other people can affirm the things that you're experiencing and the things that you're going through. So a lot of these people could have been making you feel like you're crazy because you figured out what they were really doing. 
if y'all been watching my channel for a while, these storylines are like absolutely insane. But if you go through the comments, you'll see people saying like, yeah, that happened to me. This is a real thing. This is my story. So for some of you guys, people were basically calling you crazy and trying to tell you that you were crazy because you're intuitive and you've been picking up on what they're doing, right? So advice from spirit, you guys need to do continuous spiritual baths meditation prayer and also wear protection crystals onyx is the crystal that came to me that spirit told me to tell you guys wear onyx it's a black crystal any black crystal is is great Tur uh, black tourmaline is really good um let me see what else black tourmaline onyx shungite that's the one that i wanted to tell you shungite is a really good crystal too and also, as far as your spiritual baths, just do your research, Google's uh, protection herbs, spiritual baths, but hyssop is actually one that spirit brought to me. So I actually heard hyssop through my clear audience. I had never heard that word before, and I looked it up. It's actually in the Bible. So that's a really powerful herb that you can put in your spiritual bath to cleanse off this dusty energy, okay? So also, too, some of you guys, you don't really have any knowledge about witchcraft or spell work. And for others of you, you just don't really believe that it can affect you, but it actually can. So, in fact, if you don't believe or if you don't practice spiritual protection or cleansing, you become an easier target. So a lot of people think like, oh, well, I don't believe in that. It's not going to affect me. It's not going to touch me. And y'all know I always tell you that we, we are highly protected. We're highly favored. But protection is what? A collaboration with the divine. So once you start ascending and if you've been called and you've been marked and you've been anointed, you are going to experience spiritual warfare and attacks. So Spirit actually gave me a Bible verse to share with you guys, which is Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So if you are a child of God, and especially if you're on a twin flame journey, that means you have a higher purpose, right? That means you are here to create love and light, and you're here to make the world a better place. So spiritual warfare is real. And a lot of people don't understand that there are certain things you need to do to protect yourself as you're walking through your journey, okay? All right. So also, too, Spirit showed me a vision of a show that I used to watch when I was really young. I used to watch Charm. So it's basically about these three sisters that have magical powers, and they fight against demonic entities and demonic spirits, right? So in one of the episodes, there was actually a pastor in the church and he was casting out demons in the church a demon pulled up to the church y'all and the pastor started reading bible verses out of the bible and he was hitting his staff on the floor and he was speaking out the bible verses and i was like oh my god he's doing a banishing spell like that's how i received it i was like he's literally doing like a banishing ritual so even people that are pastors and prophets and people that are highly ranked in spirituality they have to go through training in order to um, fight these demons, okay? This is this not a play play. So I just want you guys to understand that. Some of you guys have been thinking that you're crazy or you're sick or you got anxiety, you got depression, and you, you may have been affected by these things, but it's really the people around you that are causing this to be a serious problem for you. So once you remove these people out of your life and get you a good spiritual bath and some cleansing, you, you're going to be fine. This is not like a lifelong thing that is going to trap you. You can fight this. You can beat this. You can live a happy, healthy life despite having any type of mental illness, okay? So also, too, as far as who's doing this, so I, I heard, I saw the word posse and I heard it. So I saw posse, posse on a license plate and I heard it through my Claire audience. So for a lot of you guys, this is your own family. I picked up, this could be your own mother your mother-in-law, your child's father, or your hex, your ex-husband. I said hex. Yeah, they be hexing y'all, period, okay? <laughs> your ex-husband could be hexing you. Um, for some of you guys, this could be your um, former divine masculine, now demoted karmic masculine, okay? Take it how it resonates. So what I'm getting is that a lot of these people have been working together against you for years, doing spell work and witchcraft on you, okay? A lot of these people gang up together and do it on you. 
For some of these people, they were paying people to do this to you. For others of you, I saw a very specific message. Some of you guys, people were putting like spells in your food. So let's say you go over your mother-in-law's house, right? And you you always go over there to eat. She could be giving you to-go plates. This woman could have been putting magic in your food to basically destroy your life and cause you pain. That's what I've been picking up. So be careful with whose house you eating over. It's Thanksgiving for some of y'all, and y'all may not like this. For some of y'all, y'all do not need to go over family's houses for Thanksgiving because these people are the same people that's putting spell work on you and witchcraft on you, that's going to talk about you like a dog, that's going to talk about how skinny you are, how fat you are, uh, talk about your kids, talk about how your husband or how you don't got a husband, talk about your, your house, your, your friends, they all they're going to do is talk about you. So let them do that. They, you don't need to grant them with your presence, okay? Also, too, Spirit told me to share this with you guys. I saw something, and I'm not going to say the person's name. It's a social media influencer. He has a wife, right? And they claim to be very spiritual and all of this. His wife was posted on Shade Room, and this lady was reading out of the Bible, and she was cursing people out of the Bible, she was wishing negative things on people, kids. She was wishing all types of wicked things on people. And if you go through the comments, people were like, yo, they were picking up on it. Like, yo, this is not of God. You, you're literally cursing people using the Bible. So wh what I'm getting is from that message, a lot of these people that are doing this to you guys could actually be church people, spiritual people, people that claim to be Christians or Catholics, and they are demonic witches summoning spirits and putting negative energy and spell work on you you have to be very careful about people that claim to be of god and claim to be in the church but their spirit is wicked and envious and they're always being judgmental against other people for some of you guys these people are people that are supposed to be of the cloth or of the light and they're dark so be very careful okay also, too, Spirit gave me another Bible verse, y'all. This is how y'all know it's getting real, okay? Matthew chapter 5, verse 30. And if thy right hand offend thee, cut it off and cast it from thee. For it is profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish, and not that thy whole body should be cast into hell. So you guys need to make sure that you're not afraid of cutting off family members, twin flames, um, people that are in your life that are close to you that are putting out negative energy towards you. Make sure that you're not afraid to cut these people off because no matter how close they are to you, if you keep them in your life, they're going to destroy everything that God has sent to bless you. When you have toxic family members and friends, you have to cut them off so that you are able to walk your true path. And it's very, very hard. It's one of the most difficult things that you have to do. But if these people are causing you stress, anxiety, depression, they're talking about you like a dog, they're not for you. So you you sitting over here trying to be all high and mighty and thinking, oh, this is my family, this is my, this is my child's father, this is my child's mother, this is my mama, this is my daddy. And the whole time they're dragging you down to hell. You need to cut these people off because they're literally casting spells on you, okay? So what I also picked up is that these people that were doing this spell work on you, these people... You're going to hear all types of crazy things. You're going to hear about people getting sick, people in the hospital, people crossing over. And this is their punishment for attacking God's children, for attacking chosen ones, for attacking earth angels. These people are going to face heavy karma for what they did to you. And like I said, a lot of these people, you guys would never even suspect that they're doing this to you, but they are, okay? So you got to really take a look at your circle, look at the people around you. How do they make you feel? How are they speaking of you? How are they helping you grow in your life? Are they, are they lifting you up? Are they dragging you down? A lot of these people, you've been holding on to them because they have a certain title in your life or you've known them for a long time or it's your family, but they're literally spiritually attacking you. And until you remove them from their life, you're going to continue to struggle and to have problems. Okay, so now let's get into the physical illness. So we talked about mental health and mental illness and how people can basically um, 
irritate that and make it worse in your life. So I also got something about physical illness. I'm going to try my best to, to explain this because the way that spirit brought to me was so random. The way that spirit brought me these messages. So I'm getting that some of you guys may have felt like you were sick, but you're not really sick. For others of you, it's, it's not what you think that it is. It's not at all what you thought it was. And there's actually a solution. So Spirit kept telling me to tell this story about pollen. And I was like, Spirit, why y'all... Why y'all telling me about pollen? Like, that's so weird. But let me tell you the story, right? So I want to say this past summer, I was like sneezing a lot. Um, my eyes were watery, kind of red, and my nose kept running like a faucet. It was like gross. I was like, ugh, like, you know what I mean? And I was like, what the heck? Like, what's wrong with me? So I went outside and I looked on the steps and it was like a layer of pollen. But I had never really seen that much pollen. Like it just so happened to be that I was in an environment that had an abundance of pollen. And so I realized, oh, okay, I have allergies. And I didn't know that I had allergies. And I did some research and I looked it up and it was like, yeah, you can actually develop allergies when you start pushing closer to 30 you can just randomly get allergies. So I would have never known that I had a pollen allergy because I never been around pollen that much to the point where you can like wipe your hand and you can physically see a layer of pollen. So Spirit told me to share that with you guys because what I'm getting is that some of you guys have some type of physical illness and you feel like it's, it's really bad or you feel like it's one thing, but it's really something external in your environment that's causing you to be sick okay it could be one of these people doing spell work on you it could be your food your diet and once you start getting to a certain age and when you start ascending spiritually certain things you're not going to be able to tolerate anymore so a lot of spiritual people once they start ascending they go vegetarian or they go vegan or they cut out red meat or they start drinking tea. So your body is going to tell you the things that you can and cannot handle and tolerate. So for some of you guys, you think that you're sick, but really you have some type of allergic reaction or something outside or external to you that you need to remove from your life. Okay. Also, too, another thing. This is so random, y'all. I literally forgot all about this. I had to be about 14. I was a teenager and I used to get twitches like my muscles would twitch all the time it still happens now and also too when i would go to sleep at night if i slept with the tv on or if i was in a room with the tv on in the dark for a long time it would make me have sleep paralysis and terrible dreams right so i went to the doctor and i'm over here thinking like oh my god like i got epilepsy like something wrong with me <laughs> like you know what i'm saying i'm thinking like it's something really wrong with me and I had MRI, CAT scan, blood work. I had everything done. And they basically told me that I had benign fasciculation disorder or something. Well, basically, it basically means your muscles are twitching for no reason, right? And, and nothing, they couldn't find anything that was seriously wrong with me. So later, as I grew into my gifts and my spirituality, I realized that those twitches and those muscle spasms that I was having, that's actually clairsentience. That's how my spirit guides talk to me. So if y'all watch my readings and you say like, oh, if you hear me say my eyes twitching or my leg just twitched, that's spirit touching me. That's confirmation. That's my own internal compass. So I just want to share that with you guys because I'm just picking up this energy that some of you guys may be having things that you feel are like wrong with you or you're sick, but it's really like you need to do your research and you need to actually go to the doctor and get second opinions and try alternative methods of healing okay um yeah so like some of y'all some of y'all could be thinking like oh my god i got the rona but it's really like you allergic to something um it, you you could be thinking that it's something seriously wrong with you but it's really something that you can change within your environment or your diet yeah i saw clean eats so some of you guys need to change your diet and detox I also saw debug. That has a double meaning. I'm going to talk about that in another reading. But some of you guys need to do a parasite cleanse. And you can have like dietary issues and parasites. So that's 
that could be part of the reason why that's making you sick. So just take a look at what's going on in your life as far as your diet and go ahead and make those changes. And also consult a professional. There, there are dietitians, there are natural healers, there are herbalists. Like, don't just sit and think like, oh my God, something wrong with me. And then you really have the, op the option to heal. You just need to open up and try. So lastly, again, this is a very specific message, okay? I'm going to try to, to say this professionally and not graphic. So there, there's somebody in the collective, right? Somebody in my collective, you may feel like your sexual health was affected, but it's not exactly what you think it is. So many of us in the Twin Flame Collective, we've been in separation from our Twin Flames for a long time. Some of y'all, it's years you haven't been dealing with your Twin Flame, you know what I'm saying? And you've been celibate, you've been minding your business, or you moved on, whatever it is. Take it how it resonates. So when you watch these readings talking about, oh, the masculine got an STD, you like, huh, I'm good because I haven't, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I haven't been doing nothing with him. I'm over here minding my business, right? But for some of you, again, take it how it resonates. This is just a scenario. It could be that maybe you were watching YouTube readings and you, or you heard or found out that your masculine had an STD, right? And you doing it, you looking back at the dates like, dang, like, he got an STD, like, oh man, like, I was just with this person the other day, you know what I'm saying? Like, you could be thinking in your mind because you've been told that your masculine had an STD and you slept with him or whatever, you may be diagnosing yourself thinking that something's wrong with you, but it's really not what you think, okay? So, for some of you guys, it's like... you. It, you, it, this person may have affected you, but it's it's not as bad as what you think. Like, again, I'm not trying to be graphic. Like, Spirit told me that some of y'all are thinking that you have something, but it's really like you shave the wrong way if you catch my drift and you got like an ingrown hair or something. But you over here diagnosing yourself like, oh my God, this person then gave me this and gave me that. So just relax, okay? That's, this is a very specific message. So... What Spirit told me to tell you guys is that you need, you need to go to the doctor. For some of you guys, this person could have affected your health in some kind of way, but it's not what you think. Like, he could have just thrown off your pH balance or, you know, you could have some type of infection or you could have something that's actually curable, but you're, like, stressing out thinking that you're sick or that you have something really bad because you're watching too many readings and you need to go to the doctor, okay? You're actually fine. Like... That's a very specific message for you guys, okay? And what I'm getting, again, a lot of these things are illusions. So a lot of these things that are coming to you with your mental health, your physical health, your sexual health, a lot of these things that you may be thinking is not what you are thinking that it is. You need to stop being scared and, like, go to the doctor. Like, and you'll find that, oh, okay, it's not really that bad. Or, oh, I'm actually perfectly fine. Um, and, and also going to the doctor is going to break through whatever illusions that you have. And remember, it's more than one type of doctor, herbalist, dermatologist, OBGYN, um, dietitian. Some of y'all need to go to like a specialist and like calm down because I feel like you've been blocking your love life, your blessings, because you've been thinking that you're sick. And for a lot of you guys, like I said, this is people that are putting spell work on you to, to make you think these things, to put you in fear. Go to the doctor and do your research. You are probably going to be fine, okay? Again, that's why I'm telling you guys to see a professional. I'm not a medical professional. I'm just a child of God. This is the message that Spirit gave me, all right? So thank you guys for watching the Black Pearl channel. If you guys want a personal reading, make sure you visit my website, blackpearlpower.com. There is a spam bot that has been leaving comments on my page. They made a fake profile, took my whole username, my logo, and everything, and they're leaving messages trying to solicit people for reading. So I will never use a WhatsApp number. I will never say, oh, you need to book a reading. Text me on this WhatsApp number. If I, if I ever tell you to book a reading, I'm going to direct you to my website. Please don't get scammed, y'all, because I can't do nothing if y'all get scammed. Please do not get scammed. And you have to pay attention because on the username where it says Black Pearl Power, 
when it's me you'll see it's highlighted it'll be like gray or blue and it's like a little circle around it when it's a scammer it's completely white if you have any questions about who or what is communicating with you you can always go to my website there's a contact section my email address is listed in my in my bio as well you guys can email me or contact me through my website please don't get scammed this is how i know i made it because the scammers is coming they, they come in to, to scam y'all so i rebuke the scammers in the name of jesus i rebuke the illness in the name of jesus i rebuke the witchcraft in the name of jesus we're going to stay what blessed and highly favored and I, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i'll see you in the next video Bye!